Hi, I am Don Blackwell. I am the director of the Gospel Broadcasting Network, and I want to welcome you to my new vlog. It is called Truth on Wheels. In this particular vlog, we're going to be doing a variety of things, one of which is talking about some of the difficulties and struggles that I have in my day-to-day -day life. Many people have told me that in hearing about some of the things that I deal with, that it has encouraged them to press through and help them with their suffering. And so I thought I'd tell you about some of those things. In this particular vlog, we're going to talk about what's involved in getting in and out of my vehicle. I've been asked that a lot of times. Now, in some future vlogs, we're going to, some of them are just going to be teaching. Uh, sometimes if I'm on the road, we might interview a local preacher. Uh, I might uh, have an episode with Aaron Gallagher as we do Answering the Error. Uh, but from time to time, I'm just going to show you some of the things that I deal with on a daily basis because every Christian struggles. You know, Job said, man that is born of woman is a few days and full of trouble. And so if you don't have trouble yet, it's going to come sooner or later. And so on this particular vlog, I'm going to show you how I load into my van and how I get out. So we'll go step by step. This is the ramp in my garage that uh, some brothers in Christ have built for me, and it has been a great blessing. This van also was um, at least in part um, purchased by brethren. They helped me to pay for that, and I have used it to travel around teaching and preaching. I've got a remote control that I can use to open the van door, and you'll notice that it has a ramp that deploys. And if you notice carefully, the van will start to go into what it's uh, called a, a kneel feature, and it will make it a little less steep. That's not that important when I'm in the power chair, but when I'm in the manual chair, it is very, very difficult to go up a ramp that is very steep. And so that's the purpose of that. I've got some clips where I did a video of that, and we may share some of those with you as well. So. When it finishes kneeling, I will show you how to get in. One of the things I've learned is it is best to go in backwards because I can't turn around once I get inside. And so I go in backwards, and then I'm best lined up for getting out. The ramp is very narrow, and so I've gotten good at going right in, but I got to get it just right without banging the inside. And sometimes that is tricky. So once I line up, I have to realign and I try to back up to the back seat as closely as I can. And that allows me to uh, strap it down uh, when I'm traveling. Uh, I won't do that right now just for the sake of time, but I've got some straps here and some hooks that I can uh, tie the chair down so that it won't move. Then I power it down. And I lift this particular armrest. And then I've got a piece here that holds my knees uh, together. And I'll lay it off to the side. And then on my seat, I've got a remote control that I can use to bring the chair back to me. And then I turn it around. I get it as close as I can get it. And then I will take one foot off and swing it around and the other foot off and swing it around and then i'm in position to move of course all of this has been very um, it's been a learning process it's been almost five years since i had this accident and being paralyzed from here down uh, transferring is a difficult thing for me because i have to do everything with my arms and my upper body and so it's still uh, a tricky thing. I'm a paraplegic. And so once I get into this position, I've got to be balanced properly so that I can move. I still put my feet on the ground because it gives me something, a place from which to pivot. Yeah. And then I can hop over to here, move my legs over. And then I can begin the process. I'll put this arm down so it doesn't rattle around while I'm driving. And then I can start the process of spinning and getting the chair into place. I miss the days of uh, jumping in my truck and in 15 seconds cranking it and being ready to take off. But uh, 
I'm thankful at this point that I can still drive. Uh, assisting me today is Scott Ingram. He works with us at the Gospel Broadcasting Network. You might know Scott. He's on the Authentic Christian podcast with Aaron Gallagher. And uh, so then I have to raise up to the position. You can see it's quite uh, a cumbersome process just lining the chair up. Then once I get it to where it needs to be, I am ready to crank it and to drive. This particular van is a hybrid, and that's been a great thing for me. I don't have to get gas quite as often. And you can see what's involved in getting in and out of the van. And so the more often I have to get gas, every time I get gas, I have to go through that. And so um, that's a, a headache. Once I get in the van, people want to know, how do you drive it? And um, the, the reason they're asking is I can't push the gas or the brake with my feet. And everything is set up so that I can drive with my hands. This control was added at a, local, a, a mobility a store in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And with this control, it is actually hooked up to the brake pedal. I don't, you probably can't see it now, but there is actually a rod here. And it's just a rod that pushes the brake pedal so that when I push this, that rod pushes the brake pedal. It's nothing uh, magic or fancy. The, the uh, gas, however, is actually electronic. And so when I pivot this, it actually makes it accelerate, revs the gas up. And when I let it go, it releases the gas. And so I drive with one hand. This brakes it and this accelerates it. And so I can rest my arm and do everything from here. I have a button that I can push to lock the brake in place so that if I'm in a stoplight or something like that. And so I drive with one hand and uh, keep the steering wheel on one hand and use the other for the gas. It's really not bad. I've driven over, uh, I guess, over 100,000 miles now, mainly to gospel meetings and preaching appointments uh, in this van, driving with my hands. And uh, it's not bad, except if you're in heavy traffic or you're in windy roads and you're constantly working your hands and you really, really miss the days of being able to drive with your feet. But uh, that's it. That's how I do it. I know we all have struggles. We're going to talk more about that as the time goes on. I've got another vlog coming up uh, shortly on Truth on Wheels. You can find these on the app for the Gospel Broadcasting Network, the GBN app. You can download that on the App Store for Apple, the Apple Store. Or if you use an Android device, you can download it in their store for your tablet or your phone. In the meantime, check out some of the other programs we have for GBN. There's tremendously good programs that you can view. There's also some free commentaries, uh, some free books, and we've got a number of new resources that are about to be downloaded uh, or uploaded to the app that you can make use of. So until then, be faithful.